We're now going to have a look at conducting an analysis of covariance. And this is basically the use of a normal ANOVA, can be any type of ANOVA, but we're going to include a covariate which can account for some of the variance in the dependent variable, some of the unexplained variance, such so that the independent variables that we do use have a greater chance of uh, explaining a large enough proportion of variance to be uh, useful and, and significant. So in this scenario we have university students studying three different courses medicine, dentistry and podiatry and we have their stress levels at the beginning and at the end of a particular year. So this is within subject data, uh, stress is measured uh, over time, beginning and end of the year, uh, and we have the between subject variable of course studied. So we could approach this as a mixed design, time is the within subject variable and course is the between subject, or we approach it as a one way between subject variable. Um, with stress as the depend stress at the end of the year as the DV and use beginning of the year as the independent variable as the um, covariate. Um, so let's load up the data and have a look at what we've got. Course, start stress and end stress. So what we're going to do is go analyze and for this exercise I'm going to skip uh, testing assumptions and normal descriptive statistics in part because what we're dealing with anyway are the adjusted uh, covariate adjusted statistics uh, so transform general linear model and we'll choose univariate because we're going to conduct this basically as a one-way between subject and over. So stress at the end of the year is our dependent variable. Course is our fixed or independent uh, variable. And then we have start stress as the covariate. And uh, we can ask for descriptive stats, effect size, power, homogeneity tests. We can put these in. Uh, we could ask for plots and that's all we need to do. So looking at our results here, um, these descriptive stats I think are not adjusted. Let's have a look. We'll go to the end Okay, hopefully that they're adjusted. I'll, I'll check that later. So we look at Levine's test, it's non-significant. We can assume uh, that um, the variances between the groups are equal. Here we have the main effect of course. It is significant and it explains about 31% of the variance in stress levels. In other words, the course discipline that you study significantly, um, or yet there are significantly different stress levels between the course of study. Start stress is a significant covariate. Now these means down here are adjusted, so the earlier ones were not adjusted. These have been adjusted according to the covariate. So medicine appears to be higher than, more stressful than podiatry, which is more stressful than dentistry. We can examine the plots which reveal that situation. Now to analyse the pairwise effects, we would have to add them into the analysis. In addition, there are some, assum there are some assumptions, particularly uh, homogeneity of regression slopes, which we haven't yet examined.